Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to give you a really brief update about NSICA. I uh, was in Richmond, Virginia last weekend and um, midweek for the National Council on Education for the Ceramic Arts annual conference. They do it in different locations every year. And uh, this year it was in Richmond, Virginia. And it was an amazing opportunity to see loads of uh, clay exhibits, um, see demonstrating artists, see uh, in the exhibitors hall, all of the new tools and, and uh, suppliers that have fantastic stuff. Um, oh, one of the buys that I made, if you can see right here, I got these adorable little earrings. I love them. Um, I can't can't remember oh the name of the person right now but I will link it below in the video description um, I'm going to share with you some of my buys and some of the things that I picked up that I really enjoyed um, and again I'll link some of the um, the artists uh, so you can find their you know their Instagram or whatever um, and uh, it was just such a great time like just to be together with a whole bunch of other people that think about clay and live and breathe clay all the time it was just really exciting um, and Richmond was such a beautiful city it has so much history to offer um, I had to go to the capital and visit the capital there for a little bit because um, I love the Houdon sculpture that's in the capital and I I've only seen it twice. When I went to college, we had a little um, a model of it that I spent many, many hours doing drawings and paintings of. So it was neat, neat to see the original. So um, yeah, I had a great time. I hope you can try Nsika someday if you ever have the opportunity. 2025, it's gonna be in Salt Lake City and um, 2026, it's gonna be in Detroit, Michigan. And um, I have a little bit uh, that I'm going to show here at the end about the National K-12 show, which is a fantastic opportunity for anyone who teaches K-12 through ceramics to enter your stuff. I admit the website is pretty laborious, but it has some really nice rewards for the kids if you can get things entered. So uh, drop me any questions below. Oh, and you can see my uh, I can uh, t-shirt that I got by handmade. Got a few t-shirts while I was there. So it was a great time. Uh, drop me any questions that you have below um, and enjoy and see uh, my goodies that I got. Okay, starting with this one. This was my first purchase and I fell in love with it immediately because I'm such an orange person. I absolutely love it. This is a Sarah Bollock cup and I've been following her for quite a, a while. And when I saw the orange, I'm just like, well, obviously I have to get that. And then as I'm checking out, my uh, colleague Kayla who was with me she's like um Karen there are these earrings too so I had to get these um and again I'll link everyone's uh, info in below so if you want to follow them this is a Susie Lindsay bowl I've admired uh, Susie Lindsay stuff for a really long time I thought it was kind of fun a little funky there um this is um Pincus I think it's is her first name Shauna I think gorgeous gorgeous I just I love the yummy lemons on it and the the glaze it's just so pretty in a nice big size um, let's see I have a couple of mugs that I got at the um, the cup um, the, the the cup donation uh, sale that they have it's a scholarship fundraiser for Ansika this one unfortunately didn't have a card in it by the time I picked it up um, I'll try to figure out if I can who it is but it's a lovely um, I, I often look for cups um, that I don't have access to do like so this I look for wood fired salt fired soda fired and that's one of those I'm not too sure which one uh, let's see this one is also one that I picked up just kind of funky pretty rustic looking it's kind of crazy with a bottom there but it's kind of fun and again uh, I was missing the card don't even really have a signature on that but I thought it was kind of fun and then oopsie. and then I'll show you some of my clay buddies shot glass exchange so you've maybe seen on in some Instagram posts of uh, my shot glasses that I took so I have the cards at least for this one that one is uh, Audrey stamps okay so that's Audrey and then this one Carolyn sleeper okay this one is oh there it is Susan Burlegame which is kind of fun it's like little cherries on there this one um, it didn't have a card in it 
but it's got those initials. It looks like MN, not, not too sure, but it's a real fun one. And then this one is just a delightful, oh, look at that yummy dark clay and that real pretty glaze. And that one is uh, Tina Anderson. Okay, and then some of the items that I picked up, well, they, they always give away freebies and stuff because there's all sorts of, in the exhibit hall, there's a booths of, of companies and everything. And I bought a few of these, the uh, fine line uh, glaze applicators. The cool thing about this is in the lid of these, it has this teeny tiny wire that will fit into the tip. So it keeps it from uh, drying out, which is nice because I have others that don't have that in there and I have to put like a wire or something in there. Um, I got mittens from Giffen Grip. These go on the little hands for the um, Giffen Grip Mini. I broke down and bought the MKM um, big decorating disc. Never thought that I would ever buy that because um, I, I like decorating and doing the geometry myself, but then I saw um, um, Justin Reese use it in a demo. I'm like, uh, okay, I need to get it. And then I actually did buy the diamond core spinner, spinner trimmer things. Uh, I forget exactly what they're called. If you put it on the pot bottom when you're, uh, you have your uh, pot upside down and you're trimming, it spins freely in your finger, which is really kind of nice. And it also has divisions. And I, I went ahead and got the set of those. Um, got some fun. Uh, uh, the sim tool sponges. I am going to be um, shifting toward porcelain, so I got a couple porcelain sponges. They're real fine. I don't need another rib, but you know, it's orange. Could I pass it up? No. And then I got, um, it, it's sort of, this is sort of like the, um, I think it's the hacks tool from mud, tool, mud tools, but this is a sim tool. It's got little bitty teeth on it, and I thought that was kind of fun. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of fun stuff that I picked up. And also, in addition, to that is the National K twelve show. So the National K twelve show um, is fantastic opportunity for um, teachers who teach art and teach clay to. Um, enter uh, their student work and have it um, on display at a national level. I got four students in it. Um, two got honorable mentions and uh, another one got a hundred dollar prize and uh, a, a Lookout Mountain Pottery $100 prize and a $25 prize from Bailey. So that's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to next year, hoping to have some more kids enter and get in. And any of you that are teachers, I hope that you can also get your kids entered into uh, that um, show because it's really great. Um, I'll I'll put uh, the link in, in the description below. So if you wanted to go check that out. So uh, yeah, it was a great time. I hope you can go to Enseca someday if you're into pottery because it's a lot of fun stuff.